In the Construction Filter Manager tutorial, we referred to filtering by custom construction zones. In this tutorial, we will look at how to create those zones. To establish a custom construction zone, navigate to the Construction Zone Manager tab. At the top of the Construction Zone Manager, you will see two radio buttons. Click the On radio button to turn editing mode on. You will be taken to an aerial transparency view of your project. Use your navigation controls to move to the desired location. Once you have reached the location you wish to zone off, click the Create button at the bottom of the Construction Zone Manager to begin drawing out your construction zone. Click a location on your project to designate the first corner of your zone. Now, click a second location to designate an adjacent corner of your zone. A translucent plane will appear representing one side of your zone. Drag your mouse to expand your zoning box. When you are satisfied with the result, click once more to establish your new zone. Your construction zone will include all objects that fall completely within your zone's boundaries. You can create multiple custom zones using the Create button. Newer construction zones will override older ones. To rename your zone, double-click in the Name field and enter a new name. To delete a zone, select it and click the Delete button. To reset and redraw a zone, select it and click the Reset button, then repeat the draw steps to redraw your zone. Finally, to exit zone creation, click the Off radio button at the top of the Construction Zone Manager to turn editing mode off. You will be returned to your last camera view prior to entering editing mode. Now that you have created one or more construction zones, the Zone Radio button in the Filter Rules will become active, allowing you to select and filter objects into your tasks using your newly created construction zones.